Ibrahim. So, in fact, girls and girls, and uh, probably a couple of boys. <laughs> How are you? Better and better, sir. You are going to get better and better and better and better. Why I'm saying that? Sir Francis Xavier, I like a doctor, a doctorate, but I'm saying sir, why are you saying that? वो मेरे भी टीचर, मैंने आपके ग्रैंड टीचर, मैंने इनके साथ एक चार दिन की ट्रेनिंग की थी, और मैं नहीं समझता कि इतनी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव ट्रेनिंग कोई भी देता होगा, किसी को भी कभी ऐसी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव ट्रेनिंग मिली होगी। चार दिन के बाद मुझे लगा कि अगर इनका मुकाबला गूगल्स के साथ किया जाए, तो � Human computer. This man is so amazing. In the bio data, thoda sa. Ab ye parkar sunayegi. Otherwise, agar main sunana shuru karu, to aaj do ghante ke liye aaye hain. To do ghante to usi mein nikal jayenge. Fir unko aapse baat karne ka mauka kab milega? I don't know. Mujhe ye pata hai ki Amna ne jo ye kitab dekhi thi, to usne kaha tha ki mujhe desperately ye kitab chahiye inki likhi hui. और कहाँ कहाँ शायद तुम हैं तुमने कोशिश की एमेज़न और जितने भी यू नो बुक लवर्स और दूसरी जो भी शॉप्स हैं फिर कहीं नहीं मिली तो उसने फिर मुझसे छीनी ये वो लेकिन आज वो खुद यहाँ पर हैं the master guru himself the mountain has come to Muhammad मैं बहुत बड़ी बात कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि कैसा सब्जेक्ट है जो मैं समझता हूँ कि मेरे लिए इसलिए अगर जरूरी है क्योंकि I believe motivation is self motivation लेकिन he proved नहीं there are people like sir who can actually motivate you wow पहली बात तो इतनी किताबें लिखी हैं उन्होंने कि उनको खुद को लगता है कि account याद नहीं रहा तो फिर accounting पर जो किताब लिखी हो दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी किताब वो उनका ब्रेक थ्रू है इतने अवार्ड्स मिले इतने रिवॉर्ड्स मिले अगेन आई कैन ग्रो ऑन एंड ऑन लेकिन मैं जो सबसे बड़ी बात कहता हूँ ही इज 85 इमेजिन सो ही वॉक्स इस टॉक और हम हमेशा ये बात कहते हैं कि फरो वाला पेड़ झुका रहता इतना ज़्यादा फरो वाला पेड़ है ये और इस खदर झुके हुए हैं कि मुझे वो जो एक एक्सप्रेशन है ना कि यू नो हम्बल ह्यूमिलिटी इस इन पर्सन यू नो ये अभी आपको पता लगेगा यू नो कि दैट्स व्हाई प्रॉब्ली दे सेड डाउन टू एर्थ अब इतना भलो वाला पेड़ होगा झुकेगा तो डाउन टू अर्थ ही होगा ना सो इट्स सो डाउन टू अर्थ एंड आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू यू सर इट्स एन प्रिविलेज इट्स एन ऑनर दैट यू आर हेयर सर थैंक यू और मतलब वो थैंक यू आई थिंक इस वन वर्ड व्हिच इज नॉट इनफ नॉट इनफ मुझे कोई नया वर्ड इजाद करना पड़ेगा आपको भी आफ्टर दिस क्लास तो पहले तो हाँ प्लीज के लिए और उनके बारे में थोड़ा पढ़ने से एंड प्लीज Take you to my institute, and you can find the most beautiful girls. 
<laughs> that is what he expressed when he was undergoing my program in OMCA. So, if I have to tell one thing very interesting, you may not believe it. I have never loved any girl throughout my life. I am 85. I have never loved any girl. You know the reason? I never thought any girl could love me. <laughs> because wow. such a kind of an inferiority complex with which I have been growing. So, in my early childhood, adolescent age, adulthood, till I got married also, I never loved any girl. So naturally, you mean say, now I am going to love anybody, or anybody will love me at the age of 85? Okay, friends. That is why I told him also very clearly, I will introduce myself. First, I will put you to 12 minutes one video. We witness that one. Afterwards, we will start the program. Is that okay? Yes. Right. What you have seen is the proof. Have you understood? What you have seen is the proof. Is the ending part of a person. But what are the rules that is not highlighted normally? Whenever we talk about ourselves, we don't talk about our early childhood. What are all the problems we encountered in life? All those things will not be shown normally. So I'll start with the rules. Are you interested? Yes. yes. Sir. Do you know my rules? Yes. yes sir. I do not know. I tell you, just God has provided me all limitations. Maybe intention is you try to conquer every step, every stage. To start with, exactly in 1947, all of you remember, right? Yes. I wrote an entrance exam to get admission into Southern Standard in a government school, not in a public school or convent school. One of the subjects for the test was mathematics. You know how much I secured? Perfect zero. <laughs> that is my starting point at the high school level. Then who will give admission to a fellow who got perfect zero? Admission was refused. The great difficulty and recommendation, my father admitted it is semester. That itself I can narrate how I got admission because second test was conducted with a, especially with a teacher. And there also I did not do well because how can I increase my efficiency or knowledge within a short spell of a one or two weeks? Same performance, but he gave me the answer and put some marks and recommended for admission. That is this 10th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th at the time SSLC. I don't remember to have secured even 50% of marks in any subject. I used to work very hard. I was very honest, very sincere, getting up early morning at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, putting on the hurricane lamp. No electricity in my village. Used to study in spite of the fact I was not able to get good marks because of my hard working nature. I scrapped through all the classes March 9. Past SLC. You know the reason why I was not able to do that? In spite of my hard working nature, by birth, listen, this is very important for him because have been thinking, thinking, thinking. He gave me a blank check. He did not specifically tell you have to talk on this topic, that topic, nothing. He has told, please motivate my children. That's all he told. Just to motivate. That is with the frame of mind I came here to motivate you. And you may not find better motivation than my own personal life. That's what I am starting. The mere fact, you are looking at me, and when he comes and gives me even little respect, you can understand to what extent I am today. You know, when I was, it is little side trap, when I was conducting the intro seminar, do you remember one Pillai was there? Yeah. Long hair. Yes. Yes. He's a doctorate. Oh. Doctorate in US. 
He came and told me, sir, he's a great person, sir. How he had, he had come to the intro seminar. Yeah, exactly he told me. I never, I have not heard about him because I never ever thought about becoming a film star. Uh, I told you I never loved a girl. How can he think of becoming a film star? Uh -huh. <laughs> that is beyond my comprehension. Therefore, I never bothered about those things. Then he told me, he's a great person, sir. In Hollywood, he created, he uh, created so many heroes, heroines, uh, great actors and actresses. How he came like that, he was telling. In the beginning, before the introduction started, he was there and he told. Then afterwards, I kept warm. And you know what happened? The moment the intro seminar was over, I announced, you can register now. You know who is the first person who registered for the program on that day? He's the first. Hmm. And again, one more thing I observed. On top, most of the people come late because I never scold, I never uh, take them to task. I'm very liberal. If you come late, you are the loser. That is how I tell them also. But he was extremely punctual. I asked him one day, how come you are so punctual when other fellows, ordinary fellows, are coming late? He said, I, today I witnessed, today I witnessed 2 o'clock, almost 1.45, 1.30 itself, some people started coming. He told, I am very strict with my students. They have to be very punctual, like that. That's all, these are the, some sidelines. Okay. Now, past residency, went to intermediate third class. At that time only, I studied along with the Dr. Abdul Kalam. He was doing his BSc. That's why he's not my classmate, he's my college mate. Mm -hmm. Two years we were together. Then, I went for, but all the classes I passed, not even in second class, but third class, or third class. I brought my third class degree also to show, because when they see my performance in the program and my memory demonstration, nobody would believe, hey, you are simply lying, man. In order to motivate us, you are simply telling that you got all third class like that. It is not true, it is fact, it is a fact. I tell you one thing, by birth, we inherit different dimensions of personality. Physical, that's what you can see. Mental, you can't see. Only with performance, you will be able to understand the depth of your mental ability of a person. Emotional, social, economic, to some extent, you can find out a person's economic status. Occasional, moral and spiritual. All the things by birth we inherit. Birth we inherit. Different people inherit different talents, different aptitude. Okay? That's why I was, my first thing is memory, very poor memory. You give five items to memorize and reproduce, I won't be able to go there immediately. It takes a lot of time to memorize. Then, be a third class, my only ambition was to become a high school teacher. That's the biggest ambition in my life. So I did my BA. At the time they called BT, Bachelor of Teaching. There also, gloriously I got theory third class, practical third class, BA third class, BA third class. In my village there is a high school, applied for the post, there was a vacancy. I was called for interview. The mere fact I was called for interview means I'm eligible to get the job. And the school is very close by, not even one for long. After the bell, I can start from my house. I had the biggest dream, I'm going to get the teaching. I had such a passion to become a teacher. You know what happened? After five days, they informed me. You are totally rejected for the post. They said, Are I had a big dream. And they said, I'm rejected for the post of a high school teacher. I asked why. They told me, you are looking like a small boy, high school boy. 
This happened in 1957. Now we are in 2020. No, <laughs> that is because only when I stand, I have the inspiration to talk. <coughs> That's why I'm leaning on this. But uh, he knows very well. I used to jump, dance, yeah. and uh, the same thing he might be asking you to do it in your program. That's what I can visualize. I have not attended any of the program conducted by him, but I can completely visualize how he will be in your class. Okay, I used to be like that also when I was now 85, is it an ordinary age? Eh? All my classmates, colleagues, everybody, honor. I'm still surviving. <laughs> <laughs> Not only surviving, I'm going all over the world even. I went last year to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah. Three countries I conducted the program for the students and parents and all those things. You know, left to myself, now what happens, you know, I feel like a lying down. That is the stage I have come. So in order to avoid that one, what I'm doing, you know, I do something or the other. If I, every day, lying down, lying down, what will happen? Bed return. Have you heard about uh, what happened to that man? Dr. Francis Javier, he is bed -ridden. That means he is not able to move, he is not able to do anything, he is not leading a normal life. To avoid that one, I continue to be busy. That's all for us. Okay, coming back. Always I drift and come back. That's one of my habits. <laughs> Okay, now, first rejected, I had the biggest dream, your nurture, the passion to become a great film star, right or wrong? Yes. How many of you have that dream, 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 out of these, how many people are going to do that? That is my topic today. How you can achieve that? What you can do? How you can prepare your mind? Is that okay? Yes. yes. Because he has given me a blank check. I have taken the liberty to motivate you if all of you become great stars. Maybe in Hindi, maybe in Gujarati, maybe in whatever the language in which you can act and all those things. That's the greatest thing. Suppose when you become a great star, by the time I may be there, I may not be there, I don't know. When that fellow will call me, I don't know. But at that time, you should be able to remember one small fellow, dark fellow, lean fellow, came here, he motivated. That motivation made me to become a great star. If you tell like that, that is the satisfaction for me today. Okay. Then afterwards, I went to the whole night. That much was my passion to become a teacher. Then that was torpedo. I felt so bad. I was sleeping the whole night. Fortunately, in the early morning, something crossed my mind. I took two powerful decisions. First is, I am not going to become a high school teacher in my whole lifetime. I took the rejection <coughs> for the post of a high school teacher as a challenge. I am not going to become a high school teacher, but I have a passion to become a teacher. Then what is to be done? I decided I want to become directly a college lecturer. <laughs> you see, when I was rejected for the post of a high school teacher, <laughs> attributing to my unimpressive personality, I took a decision to become a college oh, lecturer. Yes, that is why nothing is impossible, provided your mind believes. Provided you work towards that. Second one, I am not going to lead an ordinary life. I want to make a mark on this planet. With these two decisions, I joined as a clerk in a factory. My first salary already, you know, from the documentary. What is the first salary? I felt so bad. If they had one more rupee, it could be? Three digits. So I started my career with the two digit number. I worked only for two years. Having decided to become a college lecturer, I must equip with a master degree. You cannot become a lecturer with a graduate. Simple graduation, is it not? So in the master degree, 
if I repeated the same performance of third class, I was not eligible, even today. <coughs> you must secure minimum second class. Never I had second class throughout my life till that time. Then what is to be done? Why I was not able to get? My memory was very, very poor. So I had to do something about my memory. So I started reading books. Then I was a clerk, reading lots of books in the meantime. I developed the confidence, courage. Then I innovated. I found out a method to memorize. That's called a memory finding system. Then afterwards, I went for my first master degree, M. Cop, Master of Cooperation in Rural Economics. I stood first class, first rank, received the gold medal at the hands of the then Prime Minister, Lord Gautu Sathri, you have seen. Then, the college where I studied, they appointed me as a lecturer for post-graduate department, straight away. Today I was studying MCOP. Immediately after passing that, I was put on the responsibility of teaching the postgraduate students straight away. I took it as a challenge. I did well. Within these two years, you know, after completed, these two years, one day I saw an advertisement issued by Government of India seeking for faculty members teaching faculty. I applied for the post, teaching faculty, and that's the Government of India class 2 post. It's called a class 1, class 2 post. They call it, you know, class 2 post. All my professors who taught me MCO, they also applied. They did not get even interviewed. Nobody got interviewed. I got interviewed. I went to Delhi. When I went to Delhi, that interview is very interesting. I, 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 I had a I didn't have a coat. I was the only fellow went there without a coat in the month of February, Delhi. So without a coat, I was sitting somewhere. The administrative officer came and asked me, have you come for an interview? I said, yes. Then we are sitting here. Then I asked him, where should I sit? I don't know. You go there. When I opened, I found all people like you, you know, very fair, or North Indians, very fair, tall, healthy, handsome, like that, I am the only fellow. I don't want to repeat it again. My wonderful personality. Okay, I came and sat. They close by. I asked, sir, I know your name. He said, Doctor Money. He said, oh My God, doctor. He yeah, got a doctorate. I don't have a doctorate. <laughs> I don't have a doctorate. Doctor Money. He said. Then looking at all the people. Now listen. This is a very important message. Actually. Otherwise, we should I talk about all those things. Great message I give you. <coughs> then, by looking at the 54 people who are there, I am the, uh, once again I repeat, at the cost of repetition, I am the youngest person also. Because they take from state government also. People who have been working in cooperative department, so most of them are 45, 50, like that. Minimum 35. I was the only fellow in 28 at that time. I was. Then my inner mind, listen carefully, my inner mind believed in what? I was not going to be selected. I was not going to be selected. 54 people, elderly, experienced, and I am a small fellow, and even High school rejected because attributing to my personality. Therefore, my inner mind believed. In what? I'm not going to be selected. The moment that thought came to me, what happened? No tension, no stress, no anxiety, no expectation. I felt free. I am not going to be selected then, but why should I bother? <laughs> <laughs> I went to the interview. No, really, that is why I am repeatedly telling this. I went to the interview. Seven people were there. Out of the three or four IAS officers, D.R. Godgate, you might have heard about him, D.R. Godgate. He was the vice chairman of the planning commission at that time. 
He was also, he's the chief of the interviewing committee. He is the Pune vice chancellor. After all. Okay. All high profile people were the seven people to take up interview. Now, in my application, what I did, you know, I did not mention anything about my BA, which class I passed. Beard, which class I passed. I glorified only my MCOM, my master program, first class, first rank, received gold medal from Lal Bahadur Sastri, and uh, something else to be mentioned, you know. I am now working as a lecturer for postgraduate department, teaching all these subjects, all those things I have written. You know, the first question they ask, dear God himself asked, Xavier, which class you passed your BA? I wanted to suppress that information. <laughs> that is the first thing. <laughs> now, what is it to be done? Without any hesitation. I'm not going to be selected, then who should I pass? <laughs> Let them ask any kind of a question. Immediately I told the third class, sir. Without any hesitation. Third class, sir. For everything, third class, anything. Immediate answer. Then afterwards, you know, when I do not know, I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Like that. At one point of time, one man asked, you have mentioned uh, Reserve Bank of India, Sale of Property Act, these are all I was teaching. One man asked, you have mentioned these are all the th things you are teaching. Are you a law graduate? You know what I told? Wow, sir. It's a very small act. I have to teach only the quintessence of that act. For that, no big lawyer is required. I can handle it. <laughs> I can handle it. Another man asked, is it your gold medal? I kept the gold medal on the cow. <laughs> yes, sir. Would you like to see? I get up. I get, no, 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 no. Keep it. <laughs> that is how the interview went off. I came back, never had the slightest thought and I out of feeling that I would be selected. And then came, within a month, I got the information. Vacancies are available in Faridabad, somewhere else all in the north. I kept my preference to south. Then I told, no, I won't come. Then they posted me in Hyderabad. You know, now have you understood one thing? If anybody comes, Sir, I'm going for an interview, IAS interview or IPS interview or any interview, I used to tell them, hey, you won't get the job, man. <laughs> they will get furious on me. They will get furious. What is it? Bad woman. Huh? When I am asking some tip, you are telling, I'm not going to be selected. <laughs> you have that attitude. Go for the interview. Without any expectation, without any anxiety, without any tension. If you are manageable, then it's alright. And particularly in your profession, the recommendation won't work at all. Mm. Because if they take you in a film on recommendation, if the film flopped, who is responsible? You get the message? So, Today onwards, develop that kind of an attitude. That does not mean you give up your ambition. No, never. That is why, based on my personal life, I am going to give you a few tips to you. Few tips to you. First tip is, whenever you confront it, either you have to take an interview one day, either with a director, or with somebody, am I right or wrong? Yes, audition you, we call that. Uh, whatever may be the case, you have to appear before somebody to talk about your talents or exhibit your intelligence, all those things. At the time, also, any time, any moment, you lead your life without too much expectation, but <coughs> continuous preparation must be there. Continuous preparation must be there. At any point of time, you are prepared for any eventuality, for any opportunity, that is there. So, I got first to post in Hyderabad. I told you, I drift and come back to the same story. <laughs> first to post in Hyderabad, transferred to Dehradun, government of their job, then from there transferred to Bangalore. I am originally from Tamil Nadu. 
posted at a bank. Within one week, I decided this is my permanent place. Yes, it is my permanent place. I have my own house. All my children were born in Bangalore, everything over. I am a permanent resident of Bangalore. Then, when I was working over there as a faculty member, I went to Karnataka University, Dharma. Completed my MA, Master of Education. There also, first class, first try. So, I had now MCOP first class, first try. MMA first class, first run. All these things happen purely because of my innovation of the memory filing system. That, uh, about that, I will talk about it a little later. Then, equipped with two master degree, first class, first run, the principal's post came up. That's class one post. Class one post, uh, that is senior IAS position. It is not IAS, but in government of India, there are certain categories. First uh, uh, class one position. I went for an interview. Second time also I stood first in the interview for the post of the principal. Then they posted, promoted, and posted me in the same college, Bangalore College. It's a, a cooperative staff training college. Only adults will be. You know, I was rejected for the post of a high school teacher. Ultimately, my whole life I am spending with the adults. People above 45 years old. When I was in 20s, I used to teach 45, 50, like that. Then I worked for 11 years as the principal of the staff training college of Government of India in the rank of a senior IAS officer. Then they promoted and posted me as a joint director of the ministry. I went to Delhi, started working over there. I had four deputy directors, so many assistant directors and technical assistants. I don't need to do anything yet except to sign. 100 to 150 signatures I have to make in different files. Do I enjoy? I did not enjoy. I never enjoyed that job. Though it is considered to be a very comfortable post. I was in charge of the entire country on cooperative training. I did not like it because I love to talk, love to inspire, love to motivate, love to teach, love to train. With this kind of a temperament, when I was asked to look into files after files, it was quite nauseating to me. I simply resigned the job, having worked for 17 years in government of India. Had I continued for three more years, today I will be getting pension alone more than one in life. But I have no regrets today. Absolutely no regrets. I had my own feeling, I had my own freedom of doing whatever I feel. If you work for somebody else, and I congratulate all of you, you are not going to work for somebody else. If you are able to exhibit your talents, ability, then uh, never ever think of anything else except you have to equip your skills. In the field of acting, I do not know. They train you in music and all those things also? Yes. Music, dancing and all those things. Wherever you feel comfortable, wherever you feel that you can master it, try that. Okay? Then afterwards, I resigned the job, came down. In the meantime, I wrote two big volumes on accounting. Published by Tata Magyar, 2,700 pages. Then, whenever I conduct the program, my cup of tea is memory and personality development. This is what I've been doing. Then, at a later stage, I started conducting trainers training. Because having got so many years of experience, I thought it's better I should train people to become trainers. Then in that program only, your guru, Kishore, attended my program. That is 13 years back. Am I right? Yes, sir. 13 years back. At that time, I was, uh, today I do not know how he feels. Only the thing is I have to, uh, standing means little more difficult. That's all, nothing else. I can do that also. It is the question of the mind. If you decide, if you determine, if you resolve, if you commit, you can do wonders and marvels on this planet. That is how I lead my life. And that is why, suppose I was leaning, if I decide I should not lean, the whole session must be taken standing. Possible. Possible. Whatever may be your position. 
Okay. Then afterwards, whenever I conduct the program on memory, and so many topics I used to handle. One man in my seminar, it's a national seminar, I was addressing, one foreigner came from Bangkok, Thailand. He saw the two big volumes on accounting. Then at the end of the seminar, he approached me, offered me the post of a financial advisor to an international organization. I went to Bangkok, worked there on a contractual basis, getting my salary in terms of US dollars. When you converted that into Indian rupees, you worked out to 99. It's only to make a comparison, 99 to 99,000. Then, afterwards, I started conducting programs in different countries. I conducted my program in several countries. Start with the US, Canada, Germany, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Vietnam, Kenya, Tanzania, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Sarja. Total 15 countries I conducted my program so far. That's all in a nutshell. And one more interesting thing I have to share with you from my things is, in 1986, I was conducting a program in Calcutta. Now Kolkata. Okay. <laughs> there, I went to Mother Teresa's place. I told her, Mother, uh, you know, that also a very interesting incident. She was in the church. I am also a Christian. I also go to the same church. I tell you, at that age, that lady was sitting, sitting, praying, praying. And he got, uh, I should say, fed up even. I came out of the church waiting for her to come. So much she was praying. You know, to reach that level makes a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. Same is the case with you. If you have an ambition to become this, that, that, that lady, this lady, I, I do not know much of uh, the actresses in Hindi movie, even in Tamil movie, that, Tamil is my mother tongue, even I do not know who are all the people now. I can think of long, old <laughs> ladies like, who are all the people uh, like that. Lot of sacrifices made also. Okay, right. Then, these are all the things. She came to my class at the school of art and motivating them to do social service. That's all. This is, in a nutshell, my whole story, friends. Okay, now, let us see. I am going to ask you a simple question. If you want to be successful in any field, I tell, have only one requirement. What is that? Tell me, let me see. Do we have an interactive session now? What is the one thing that is required to become successful in any field of activity? Yes, ma'am. Determination. Sit, sit and talk. Huh? Determination. Determination. And very good. What else? Tell, tell. So practice. Practice. Dedication. Dedication. Commitment. Huh? Resilience. Huh? Resilience. Resilience. Okay, good. Huh? Conviction. Conviction. Hard work. Hard work. What else? Positivity. Positivity. Very good. You may, if you are able to give me my answer, why should I ask you the answer question? <laughs> Normally, nobody gives my answer. That does not mean my answer is the only answer that's the correct one. No, not required. From my perspective, I consider this one. You know what it is? Your energy level. Energy level. When your energy level is very high, what happens? You feel like jumping, you feel like doing. You Hard work comes, determination comes, commitment comes, everything comes. Suppose, what will happen? You feel like conquering the whole world when your energy level is very high. When the energy level is down, what happens? You feel diffident. You feel lethargic. You get into tension, stress, all kinds of, you find a variety of diseases also. 
So that is why I always tell, how at any point of time, high level of energy, high level of energy. And one day, once I was conducting a program to the commissioners of income tax, commissioners, some 22 fellows attended in Bangalore. One elderly gentleman sitting at my right, you don't seem to have any energy and you are talking about energy, he said. <laughs> The physical frame of the body is not an indication of your energy. A man, hefty, tall, and if he's obese, I tell you, all the energy is sapped. <laughs> <laughs> when you are, fortunately, a fellow like me only have more energy. It is not that. It is the brain that matters. Energy. Okay. Therefore, I'm going to give you one technique to have more energy. Are you all ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Sure? Yes, sir. I will give the technique. I know very well. This is the group who will respond more effectively, more enthusiastically. Some, particularly ladies in South India, finished. I make them to dance. He danced in my class. <laughs> of course, he is teaching you dance, but I made him to dance in my class. You know. They They will be starting like a statue. And if you are able to remove that kind of inhibition in you, you can be a great actor. He must have told you repeatedly this. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. I have not heard his lecture, but I know what he must have told you. What he must have told you. Remove all inhibition if you want to be a actress. Not ordinary actress. If you want to become famous, still more you have to work also. Okay, I will give you a technique to increase your energy level. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay. I started with the good evening. Is it not? To start. I am going to wish you all again good evening. I am going to wish you all again good evening. How? Not ordinarily. My intention is to make you to have more energy. So, I will be doing with all energy and enthusiasm at my command. Let me see how far you are able to respond. When you respond to that extent, that bulb should be fall out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The sound can move in animate objects. Are you able to make it? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes, sir. No. Good evening only. Good evening. Good evening. This is the first group I stopped with one good evening. <laughs> Otherwise, what happens, you know, I won't allow them, even sometimes, five times I shout, they have to shout. So only the volume increases. Only when it comes to my expectation, I stop. <laughs> so I'm very happy. <laughs> Now I am going to ask you a simple question. Very simple. Okay. Let us talk about life. Life is a series, not serious. <laughs> series is different. Series, you know, the bulb series. Series means continuous. Series of what? One word answer you have to give me. Write down. All of you write down. Anybody giving my answer? Water, I pick up, I have little changes, whatever the amount comes, I will give you. If you, <laughs> if you give my answer, life is a series of what? Series means continuous process. Life is a series of what? Yes, now I will give my answer. Anybody has written this up? Sir, it is similar to that. No similar. <laughs> Same word you have to repeat because I have to shut down my money, you know. Whenever I sit in the church, what I do, you know, uh, I, I keep some <coughs> changes. Uh, I, I tell God, whatever you want, you take it. And one day, 2,000 came. Now what I have to do? I have already promised to God. Normally I give 100 rupees, 500 rupees. That is the maximum. One day, 2,000 came. Okay. Next time, I was very careful not to bring 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> so, next time also, I kept 100, 
10, 20. Next time also, 500. The maximum always came. I do not know. Whatever you same way I am going to give you. If you get, try my answer. You know what it is? Life is a series of choices. Choice. Beautiful. Anybody has written? Choice. I know. I can save my money. <laughs> Now, you are all rebellious. What are you are telling? You know, one boy who was very much interested in movie field. He approached his mother. She flatly refused. Many of your parents must have refused. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Many of your parents must have refused That's true. to send you. Because they had a different conception about it. But they are very glorious. If my daughter becomes another Aishwarya Roy, they will be happy then. But they don't believe that you can become like that also. Do you get the point? Yes, they, they wish. But because of that, they think, okay, whatever may be the case, see, series of choices. How? Why they are sitting here and some people are there. It's a simple choice you have made. Now, if you have to tell, life is a series of choices, I used to tell my personal story. You know, I told you, in the beginning itself, I never loved a girl. When I wanted to get married, I told my parents, and we went to their first girl, I saw, you know, that girl rejected me. <laughs> and if she came, simply kept mom, I would not have bothered. All the time, I was not worried about my height, weight also. I am all the time worried about my color of the skin. So dark, God has created. That is the only complex. I have the complex with my complexion. Right? <laughs> then, and the poor girl told this fellow is too dark, I don't want to marry. Finish. Second time, my father arranged, already discussed with the fathers of the girl, everything was there, then he asked me, you will see another girl. Some uh, group of some 10, 15 people, uh, we went to there to see the girl. I was wondering, I am the fellow going to see the... Look into this. I am going to see the girl. Why so many people are coming? At least 10 people in my bra father brought, you know, what happened? Then, they asked me to ask some questions to the girl. What kind of a question? <laughs> <laughs> then, you know what happened? On the very first meeting itself, engagement was over. He already arranged it. That's why 10 people came. <laughs> Where is the question of choice? I have no choice to get married to a particular lady. Any old marriage is over. That is why there are so many ways in which you doubt this proposition that life is a series of choices. To understand this, I'll tell you one more thing. What is that? What is life? You tell me what is life, then you can understand the meaning of life is a series of choices. What is life? Have you thought about it? You may be in your maybe 20, 21, 18, 17, like that, correct? Have you thought about it? Even the adult, when I conduct the program, 45, 50, 55, also they attend my program, they will not be able to specifically tell what life is. What is life? Tell me. Anybody write down? <laughs> Let me write down. What is life? Life is a series of choices different. What is life? Write down, then we will see. Okay, 
whatever you have written, and can you listen to me very carefully? He never thought what life is. At any point of time, did you sit and start thinking, what is life? What is life? Are you thought about it? No. Life is nothing but your thoughts. What you think is your life. What you feel is your life. What you do is your life. True. If your thoughts are good, your life is good. Your thoughts are bad, your life is bad. You. If your feelings are negative, your life is negative. If your feelings are positive, your life is positive. What you do also, actions are good, life is good. Actions are bad, stealing. Is that a good action? Bad, your life is bad. If you are able to control these three aspects of your life, your life will be glorious. Thoughts, feelings, and actions. Now, to understand this, who chooses your thoughts? Who is choosing your thoughts? Are you choosing your thoughts? Yes or no? Yes. Who is choosing your feelings? You are choosing your feelings, right? And who is choosing your actions? You. Except you are kept in a jail. Kept in a jail, you can't choose anything, whatever you want to do. But left to ourselves. Are you sure you are choosing your thoughts? Are you choosing your, choose your feelings? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Now I am going to ask you a question. Suppose somebody scolded you unjustifiably. You don't deserve that scolding. He, you felt insulted. You felt insulted. Feeling insult is a feeling, is it not? At that time, anybody made a statement, I choose to feel insulted. Tell me. Did he choose insult as a choice? Yes or no? Just now you told me you are choosing your feelings. Yes. <laughs> you are choosing your thoughts. Yes. But you changed it. I tell you, that is how we lead a life of unawareness. We lead a life of unawareness. Many times. You sit and brood many times. You sit and weep many times. You sit and feel stressed and tensed. They are not your choices, but it comes automatically. Comes automatically. If you are able to be aware of your thoughts, aware of your feelings, aware of your actions, your life will blossom into morals. And in this context, I'll give you a beautiful story. Are you interested in a story? Yes, oh, yes. yes sir. I am a storyteller. But yes. if I have to tell stories, I've written four volumes, story books. Four volumes. Yes. Four hundred stories I have written. From that one story I will give you. One old lady. Now, in Germany it happened. A real incident I have related. One old lady in a marriage reception took her revolver, shot an youngster with instantaneous death. Died on the spot. Who is the fellow who died? Bridegroom. Bridegroom died. Who is the lady who shot him to death? Mother. His own mother. His, uh, her own son she shot. That's why it was a long back, maybe 20, 30 years, I do not know exactly when I read this news, but it impressed me in my mind. This is how most of the people live their life. Life of when, you know what happened? It, uh, it was analyzed in the newspaper. That lady, the mother, told something unpleasant to this boy. He felt bad. She felt bad, I'm sorry. She felt bad, immediately took the revolver. Because for protection, they are given a revolver in foreign countries. 
when she took the revolver, was she aware she is going to kill a person? Was she aware? No. When she triggered to kill the boy, was she aware she is going to kill her own son? If the thought of the hospital where that boy was born crossed her mind at that time, can she kill him? That's why we live a life of anger. All the time keep it in mind. Aware of your thoughts. Aware of your feelings. And for example, when he is conducting the class, you are not performing. I do not know whether he shouts at you or not. He will shout. That I know. I don't know. know. For your good. Only from imagination, only I'm telling you. If it is correct, let it be correct. If it is wrong, pardon me. If I tell you, you know, immediately you feel, hey, this man is very, very prejudicial. And that, that girl also committed the same mistake. She did not. She is bad here. But why should she shout at me only <laughs> like that if you think? You get the point? <laughs> Funny. <coughs> Second, aware of what you are thinking, what you are feeling, what you are doing. If you continue to have this kind of a, a mental awareness, you will be able to assume anything on this planet. That's true. Anything on this planet. That's, true. That's very important. Suppose the thought comes, Oh, I am like that. Can I become a big star? There are so many people much more beautiful. It is not the beauty alone that counts. It is not the handsomeness alone that counts. It is your talent. I know only a little bit. Uh, if I tell, I am not seeing the movie very frequently, it will be detected. What? A fellow, if every fellow is not seeing the movie, then what is our role in the movie? You may think like that, but that is my temperament. But whenever I feel like, whenever I want to relax, I see the movie. Mostly I see Tamil movie only. In Tamil, you take one superstar. All of you know him? Who is the superstar in Tamil Nadu? Is he very handsome? He is like me, dark fellow. <laughs> like me, dark fellow. And now, he is the only fellow come out to the public without any makeup mm. or balding. Bald head, he, he is the only fellow having the courage to show <coughs> because he has got so much confidence in his ability mm. to act. Mm. Therefore, don't worry about your physical features. Develop the skills. Your guru is a master. I have seen the number of people whom he trained, they were all in the Bollywood, not Hollywood. <laughs> Bollywood. You get the point. You are very fortunate to be under him getting a train. Okay. That's all, friends. Now, this is the thing what I wanted to inform you. Now, last question I am going to ask you. Last question. A God appears before you. God appears before you and ask you, ask only three things in life. I know very well what you will ask <laughs> because you all fix your <laughs> decision. But this is not applicable to other people. Everybody will write, I want to become another actress like that lady or this lady. That is one. Another two you have to choose. Okay, whatever you do, you do that one. Three items you ask God to give you. Write down. I will not ask what you have written because that is personal. That is completely personal. Write down first. going to ask you, I am not going to explain what you have written is right or wrong, no. It is your 
wish to get it from God, not from Dr. Xavier. <laughs> okay. Now, let us take one wish will be all of you are interested to enter into movie field and shine very well as the best star in the movie horizon. Okay? Right. Then, this is what I found from my personal experience conducting the program over a period. You know what are they? These are the three things. Health, wealth, and happiness. What are the three things? Normally we need health, wealth, and happiness. Health is the most important thing, which I realized purely because from my childhood onwards, I was not having good health. I told you one, <coughs> one dimension of my life, that's memory. Very poor memory. Similarly, I was born with a very poor constitution, suffering from a variety of diseases. Health. Then wealth. I was very, very poor. Very poor in the sense that I don't have a train charge to go to school. I dropped it. That also. My first vehicle, shall I tell you what is my first vehicle? <laughs> I purchased a rally cycle, <laughs> six monthly installment, paying 20 rupees per month. Wow. That's my first vehicle. And what is my today's vehicle? I have Mercedes Benz. Oh. only rolls right, I saw the thing, the shape I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. that is, you know, I don't like that, but I'm not going for rolls right. Why well, I'm just telling you, I have defined in the latest book, there is a book, the concept of success. What is the concept of success? You know, I will complete these three items. Then we will talk about success. That success will take up after the interval. Okay? Now, health is the most important thing. It was not born with good health. Second one. What is the second one? Well, well, well. everybody wants. Even when you aspire to become a heroine in a movie, what for? One is you will become popular. And when they act, ask you to act free of cost, one or two films you may agree. Third film, will you agree? No. <laughs> will you agree? Third film. No. And you become very famous. Once you become famous, you dictate terms with them. Therefore, wealth is needed. When I conduct the training program, I don't know. You know, I came from a very poor family, as I told you. I had the intention, I wanted to make it free. But what happened? Whenever I make my program free, nobody is bothered. Nobody comes. When I charge a very high fee, 25,000, 30,000 people. Because, oh, I have the fee? The program must be good like that. Okay. Then, can you choose to be healthy? Choose. Can you take it as a choice to, to be healthy? Yes or no? Yes. 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 For that, you have to follow certain rules. Second one, wealthy for amassing wealth also certain principles are required. Mm -hmm. Certain principles are required, you have to follow, then you may become wealthy. Last one, happiness. Can you choose to be happy? Yes. 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 But are we happy? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, you are young. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are not. You have not come across the problem of adult and that to marry fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes all the ladies grumble, I got the worst husband. And all the husbands grumble, I got the worst wife. <laughs> so the easiest one is the most difficult one, actually speaking. Easily you can be happy. Just to change your mind. You be happy, you are happy. Then, but we are not happy. Normally we think about this, that, and all those things. Now, I will give you a technique to be happy all the time. Are you all ready? Yes, sir. Yes. I will give you a song. Song, you are all very interested in because song is one of the important factors mm. in movie. If the songs are really good, the movie is good. Is it not? Yes. So 
I'm not going to sing a song, but I will give you a simple song for you to, you can follow this through your life. Be happy, be jolly, be cheerful. Repeat it yourself. You will you be, be happy, be jolly, be cheerful. Whenever you are depressed, whenever you are tensed, whenever you are melancholy, repeat this, be happy, be jolly, be cheerful. The more you give command to your subconscious mind, you will feel happy. Are you all ready? Yes, yes sir. Can you sing the song? Be happy. Be, be happy. Be jolly. Be jolly. Be cheerful. Be cheerful. Be happy. Be happy. Be jolly. Be jolly. Be cheerful. Be cheerful. Be happy. Be happy. Be jolly. Be jolly. Be cheerful. Be cheerful. All of you get up. Be happy. We are going to dance. And only from South Indian movie I can refer to these two fellows. One is Tamil Hassan. Another fellow is. Not rushing on you. <laughs> not coming to my mind. It will come later. And I am not a good dancer, but I dance in my own way. Now, I, I know pretty well all of you will dance. Okay? Now I will dance the way in which I dance. You need not follow the same steps and all those things. You can dance in your own way. I wanted to witness your dancing. Okay? I will do my performance. Be happy, be jolly, be cheerful. 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 Be happy, be What is success in life? What is success in life? Tell me, whatever that comes to your mind. Happiness. Happiness. Self-satisfaction. Self-satisfaction. Peace. Peace. What else? <laughs> I'm very happy that you don't tell making money is success. Occupying a very high position. Normally people think like that. Mm. Occupying a high position is success. If I become IAS officer, I am successful. If I become prime minister, I am successful. How many posts of prime minister is there in our country? One. How many posts? One. One. Only one. That means only one fellow can be successful. All the rest are failures. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then what? That money is a criterion. Then Thiruvai Ambani or Mukesh Ambani alone is successful, is it not? Mm -hmm. So I define success in totally in a different way. My message to all my people is make every second of your life a masterpiece. Every you second. Because how to create that masterpiece? How to create that masterpiece? Listen, okay? Now listen, this is exactly how you can create a masterpiece in your life. Acquire knowledge and develop skills in the field in which you are interested and involved. Sometimes you may be interested, but what you are interested, you are not involved. Some many people, 
Many people wanted to become like that, but unfortunately they have taken up some other profession with the result all the time, I wanted to become like that, I wanted to become like that, but I can't help it, I am doing this like that. So once again I will repeat, you don't need to write down this. It is in my, but it's a very long thing which I shortened it to this. Make every second of your life a yeah? masterpiece. How? By acquiring knowledge and developing skills. What is the difference between knowledge and skills? Knowledge is theory, skill is practical. <laughs> practical, that's all. Even in your own case, you read thousand books how to act. Can you become an actor or actress? Can you become? You read all the theoretical knowledge. You have to stand like that, you have to laugh like that, you have to do like that, you have to dance like that. All those things are written in your book beautifully. Let us assume. After reading, completely you have mastered the book. Can you be a good actress? That's why acquired knowledge is required. Knowledge gives you the direction. It gives you the pointer as to what to do, what <coughs> not to do. Only theory gives you the guidelines. Based on the guidelines, you have to act. You have to perform. You have to acquire the skill. Both should be combined. In my life, in fact, I did my master's program in cooperation and rural economics. Now where I am? I'm talking about health. I'm talking about memory, I'm talking about accountancy also. I studied a little bit, that's all. But these three fields now, I have memory, health, and accounting. These are the three major fields of my uh, life. Now, as I told you, in your life, how you can make a masterpiece in your life all the time, with a confidence, with a conviction, with a commitment all the time, whatever may be the case, I make an attempt. <coughs> As I told you, if you get it, fine. If you don't get it, don't feel bad about it. At least, whatever may be the case, if you are so determined, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, even on the tenth year, if you are able to be successful, fine. Continue to persevere. That's very important with a conviction that you can act well or whatever the field that you are even there are so many things in the movie field also is it not okay that i don't get into the things because that is left to you like that this is what i wanted to inform you now i am going to show you a few demonstrations what a man can do at the age of 85 only i have Half an hour I used to demonstrate in the uh, intro seminars and all those things. I will take up only three items. I will show you only three items as a demonstration. After that, I will give you a few tips. I'm not going to give you the techniques. The demonstration is only to make you to understand this fellow at the age of 85 is capable of doing. If he is able to do, he can also do. You know, I'm considered to be a great motivator. You know why? I'm considered to be a great motivator. You know why? The people who listen to me, my God, when this fellow can do, I can also do. <laughs> you got the message on now. <laughs> when this fellow can do this much, I can also do. So am I not motivating? Indirectly, even without opening my mouth, I can motivate people. <laughs> okay, now we'll start with the three demonstrations only. I will show you. <laughs> you will be discounted. Naturally, when it will come, I tell you, most of the very top level actors and actresses, when they talk, it becomes natural. But the dialogue is given, but I do not know exactly this is what I pursue. <laughs> Once they have understood the concept, mm -hmm. <coughs> the situation, once they have understood the concept and the situation, what happens, they talk on their own also. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir, absolutely. Huh? absolutely. It comes automatically, particularly these uh, fellows, comedians. 
comedians, most of the comedians, it is not the same script they repeat. They do it on their own also, but according to the context. Therefore, what is needed is not verbatim memory of the dialogue given by you. If you are able to create on the spot, that's why top level actors and actresses are capable of creating their own dialogue on the screen. Yes, sir. You can also do that if you are a little creative. For the total devotion is required. Total devotion is required. When I am coming, I tell you, from uh, <coughs> uh, taking one auto rickshaw, I came by, I wanted to come by taxi. He said, you take two and a half hours <laughs> from Bombay Center to Andhari, you cannot. And we came by train. From the train, when I was coming, I tell you honestly, my position was so bad. Whether I will be able to conduct the program today, whether I will be able to meet the requirements, it was so bad, really. Mm -hmm. I felt uh, like that. But when I come, when I took it up, then automatically, did you find that I have any problem in conducting this program? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, like that, that is how the mind plays a great role in our life. Mind plays a great role in our life. If you look at all the successful actors and actresses, they develop their mind mostly than anything They develop that kind of confidence in them. That you develop the confidence. Never give up. Never give up. Continue to do that. Continue to go ahead with your planning, thinking, and other things. Now, I will show you only three demonstrations. And you will be giving you, it's not what I memorize, I am going to repeat to you, except one. Okay? Now, uh, uh, now, we are not born with any system in the brain to remember and reproduce. Do you have any system? As a student, you take. Some 10 points you have to remember. 20 points you have to remember from one chapter. How do you memorize normally? What we do is we repeat it again and again and memorize. That's not required. You create a system in the brain, filing system. Based on the filing system, you put the items in different files. Now you know where it is. Now whatever the information you have in your brain, you do not know where it is located in the brain. My contribution in the field of education with a particular reference to memory is create a filing system. Put it, the facts and figures in the system and take me please come along. That's what I'm going to show you. We'll take only 15 items. <coughs> 15 or 16 items we'll take. Is that okay? Right. Now, okay, next. 75. <coughs> 70? Dance. 75? 76. 76. 76. Dance. 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 94. Watch. Watch. 94. 94 is not coming. Shall I take 93? Yes. Watch. 93, watch. Okay. Wait, it's coming here. Okay. I will leave it up now. But uh, how to make it? Uh, any expert? Now, uh, we we'll start from the back. You ask me the number, I will tell the object. Ask the object, I will tell the number. We will go in that order. Yeah, start. 67. 50? 67. 67, cut it. Wow. Next one. Ah. Yeah, ask. 32. Earthquake. Next one. 55. 
Fifty eight memory. Twenty seven. Three hundred. Ninety three. Ninety three. Watch. Yes. Guru. Ninety. Huh? Bo okay. Box. Box ninety. Okay. Okay. Uh, now. The second line. Seventy nine. Sir, flower. Number one. Number one chair. Ah. Thirty two. You have to quit already, it told <laughs> Okay, next one. Watch. Watch also, 93. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Jupiter. Jupiter, 15. 36. Huh? 36. 30 ocean. Ah. Memory. Memory, 55. 16. Watch. Ah, phone, phone. I'm sorry. Ah. This one. Tell, tell. Seven. Seven. Seven star. Hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen, Jupiter. Okay. Shall we close this demonstration? Yes. I will ask till I die. That is her passion. 
and uh, you might have heard about that, Manorama. Yes. She died recently. Similarly, on the 60th birthday of the greatest singer, <coughs> who is that? Lata Mangeshwar. Lata Mangeshwar. Yes. Yes. The journalist asked her, which is the happiest moment in your life? You know what was your answer? And I sing. The happiest moment in my life is when I sing. If you ask me which is the happiest moment in your life, when I take the program. <laughs> which is the happiest moment in your life when you ask? If you are a singer, then you sing. Whatever may be the case. Then we develop the passion for what we are doing. We are extremely successful in life. Whatever, it is not the money that counts. It is not the position that counts. It is the inner satisfaction. We love to do what we want to do. That's all. Okay? Now, I will give you a few simple tips. Number one, right now. One, two, three, I will give. Very effective. Very effective. You will never fall in. You will never get into cancer, diabetes. No. That kind of a... Uh, it's called degenerative diseases. It's called chronic disease, for which you have to take medicine throughout your life. First thing is, as soon as you get up, go to kitchen, take one teaspoon of oil, preferably tilka te. You know tilka te? Yes. Jijili yes. yes. they call it. Put it in your mouth, swish it. Swish means go on, do that for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. It is said to be a panacea for all diseases. Apart from that, you will never, even at the age of 90, all your teeth will be intact. Unfortunately, I learned a few years back. And one year back, my dentist told we have to extract one tooth because a lot of cavity. I continue with the cavity because of this technique. Remarkable technique. Though it is simple, but it removes all the bacteria from your <coughs> mouth, with the result you maintain excellent health. One. What is that? This is called oil therapy. Oil therapy. Go on, swish it. 20 minutes. What to do in that 20 minutes, I will tell you. You have, you do walking, if it is possible. Now, it is not possible in Bombay and all those things. When you are staying in a small house, uh, you know, eight-shaped walking. If it is possible, you do. Otherwise, don't bother about it. Walking is one of the best. And eight-shaped walking is further. Uh, I don't want to explain too much about all those things. I simply give you the technique. If it is possible, you do that. What is to be done, you know, you pick up on central line, center, Go from here and go like this. <coughs> Half an hour you walk. Your oil is in your mouth. You do this oil swishing and also walking. Half an hour walk in the morning. Uh, and in a small room like that also you can do. Okay, second one. Third one, at the time of age-shaped walking, I am giving you a profound technique based on my personal experience. Keep your finger like this. Keep your finger like this. When you are walking, even when you are walking anywhere, you can do this. When you are watching TV, you do this. When you are talking to somebody also, you can. Whenever it is possible, whenever you think of, you do this. This is called Jnana Mudra. This has some connection with the brain which removes all your negative thoughts, stress, tension. I can give uh, a, a typical example of my life itself. This is a remarkable technique, innovated by our forefather, Jnana Mudra. You reach, you develop Jnana. Jnana means wisdom, to that extent itself. That when you are doing all those things, now, how many things you are doing at a time? You are walking, you are swishing the oil, and you are doing Jnana Mudra, three, one more. 
you repeated yourself, pray to God, make me a great actress. This is a prayer. Auto suggestion is different. I am becoming a great actress. I am becoming a great actress. Is auto suggestion. More powerful is attribute the presence of a supreme God, a supreme being, and request him, make me a great actress. Repeat it again and again and again. One day you become a great actress. It's possible. Okay? Four in one you do for half an hour. After that, what you have to do is drink one and a quarter liter of water. Not possible immediately. Even one glass of water in the morning is very difficult for you now to start as a fresher. Now, tomorrow you try. As soon as you get up after doing this, whenever it is possible, you do this kind of a thing. But that oil, switching the oil, don't forget that. Continuously, every day you do that. It costs nothing, much. Okay? And uh, uh, remarkably, you will maintain good health. Second one is drink water, one and a half Today, start with one glass. Tomorrow, little more than one glass. Go on, increase it. After a month, it will take one month, two months even. If you start drinking two uh, glass of water, you feel like vomiting. Now, I can drink because I'm used to that. Second is drinking one and a quarter liter of water. That, what is the impact of that one is, it will clear all your uh, uh, motion, it will come out. You know, maintaining good health is a simple thing. What you eat should be digested properly. What is digested should be eliminated completely. When there is a balance, then it is a problem. This one and a quarter liter will remove everything what is not required in the system. That's all. Then take your bath and do some simple exercise. You know, I'm not going to teach you yoga and all those things. You can as much as possible walk. Whenever you have to go to some place, you are not in a hurry, instead of taking the bus or auto or taking your car, walk two kilometers. It will be more healthy, more healthy, that way. Then, next one is over, then a the few pranayama techniques and meditation techniques I'll teach you. This, for physical exercise, I give a simple technique. What it is? Walking only is sufficient. Then, pranayama means there are so many, 120 pranayama varieties. I am going to give you a few only. Pranayama means control of your breath. Now you are breathing in, breathing out. Out of that, two only I will teach you. One is to increase your energy level. When you do that, it will increase your energy level. How to do that? Now all of you keep your hand like this. Rub. <laughs> what do you get? Heat. Apply the heat on your face. You will continue to remain like this even after 20 years if you do this. Such a simple thing. You know, why we look old? I look old. But do I look old, 85? No. no. Sir. Then how it is possible? But said and done, I can't become 80. That is ruled out. At times, I am told I look like a 55 also. Is it any doubt? They hope if somebody tells. <laughs> because straight away I told you 85. And your guru also told you 85 straight away. Therefore, you have the picture of an 85-year-old fellow, so I look like an 85-year-old. Otherwise, uh, unfortunately, I learned only two years back this technique. Had I learned earlier, I would look still younger. <laughs> this is a remarkable technique. This is called Qi Kung in Chinese technique. When you rub that heat apply on your face, it removes your wrinkles. Only the wrinkle 
makes you to appear older. Is it not? So, this is a very remarkable technique. You do that. That when you do this, there is a friction, is it not? This friction, what happens? Creates heat. Heat is another manifestation of energy. Now, if you want to have more energy, I talked about energy. What you have to do? Sit. And then, see. Bring down your chin. Down your chin. Very simple. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring down the chin. Bring down the chin. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. In that friction, energy is generated. You get this called Ujjayi Pranayama. Ujjayi means success pranayama. To be successful, what you need? Energy. This pranayama creates energy more. And do it 20 times, 30 times. Uh, fix five minutes, I'm going to do this. Do that. Whenever you are free, you can do this. This is one. Now, you want to relax. Only two I am giving you. There are 120 pranayama techniques. But it's a shortened program, so I will give you a few tips which are possible, which are comfortable, which are easy to practice. What is the next one, you know, I will tell you to relax. Now I'm going to ask you a very simple question. What is the first action of a newly born baby? First action of a newly born baby? Crying. 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 <laughs> Even the mother doesn't know what the, because she will be unconscious at the time of giving birth of a baby. Correct? Now, when the child is in the womb of the mother, the, the life of the mother and the child would be the same. When it is separated, what happens? It has to live. Which one? The child has to live. How it will live? Breathe in. First action of fear, newly born child is Breathing. Breathe in. Then, now, have you seen anybody dying like this? Undying? <laughs> How do they die? <coughs> Breathe out and die. All the people start life with breathing in. End the life with breathing out. When you breathe out, you are dead. When you breathe in, you are alive. Every now and then, we simulate life and death through the process of breathing in and breathing out. Now, after breathing out, after breathing out, you are dead. Continue that, that breathing in. This is called outer retention. In Sanskrit, it is called Bhakya Kumbhaka. Bhakya Kumbhaka. Now, I will ask you to do that one. Are you all ready? Yes. Now, sit comfortably. <coughs> sit comfortably. Follow me instruction. Breathe in. Breathe out. Don't breathe in immediately. This is the point of relaxation. After you breathe the out, consider yourself as dead. This is the dead posture. That's called Shavasana. Then breathe in. Breathe out, leave your pass. Don't breathe in immediately. This is the point of relaxation. After your pass, now breathe in. Again, breathe out. After breathing out only, you are retaining, breathing out for a longer period than usual. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you do it on your own. Do it on your own. Do it on your own. After breathing out, don't breathe in immediately. That's a simple technique. 
close your eyes. Close your eyes and look. <coughs> energy, what you have to do? Bring down and breathe in, breathe out. When you want to relax, outer attention, breathe out and breathe in. It will keep you. Okay. One more thing I am telling you, you know, whenever it is possible, you are waiting for somebody. What you have to do? Slowly breathe in, slowly breathe out. The number of cycles you try to reduce. Normally, 15 to 20 cycles per minute. Normally. That you try to reduce 14, 13 per minute. Cycles. When you reduce that cycle, your longevity will be more. You can live long. You can live long. Right. Then I will give you a simple technique on medication. With that, I will also introduce you to the water, what I am drinking, that uh, little afterwards we shall see. Medication, there are two types of medication. One is <coughs> passive medication. One is passive. Second is active medication. Passive medication, I will tell you what to do. Immediately you can practice it. I will not give much time for you to practice. This is only to learn the technique. Only to Learn the technique. You are not meditating as such. Close your eyes. <coughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't open your eyes till I ask you to open. Open your eyes. Hey, what man? You ask us to close the eyes and you are keeping quiet? You understand what I mean? What did you do during this time? Sorry. All your thoughts came. What this fellow asked us to close the eyes and he did not give any instructions. You might have thought like that. Am I not right? Now, second, now close your eyes. Now close your eyes. Now I am going to give you instruction. Close your eyes. Don't open your eyes till I ask you to open. Now, be attentive to the sound you are able to hear. Be attentive to the sound you are able to hear. Your total attention must be on the sound. Now open your eyes. As I told you, I don't give much time for you to meditate. This is actually a meditation. You know what is meditation? Meditation, for example, now you cut my head open and try to find out what is inside. What is inside of my head? All about my personal life. Is it not? What normally we think, we think of our family, you think of your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your relatives, uh, all kinds of things, and your back pain, whatever. All the time, our thoughts are saturated about ourselves. As long as the thoughts are with you, you are, <coughs> nervous, you are not relaxing. Can you forget about yourself? That is medication. Forgetting yourself is medication. Simple. How to do that? You have to follow certain technique. What is the technique? That's what I introduced you just now. When you are attentive to the sound, did you think of anything else? You don't think, except the sound. The sound of the air conditioner. Okay, now second one. Three technique only I will give you, passive meditation. Okay, next one. 
close your eyes. Close your eyes. Be attentive. <coughs> Be attentive to your breathing cycle. You are breathing in, breathing out. Total attention must be. When you breathe in, you aware that you are breathing in. Now I am breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Total attention must be on your breathing. Do that for some time. Till I ask you to open your eyes. Because I have no time to discuss much about this. This is second passive meditation. First one is attentive to the sound. That's called sabda meditation. Now what you did observing your own breathing cycle is vipassana meditation. Second one is vipassana meditation. Then Third one we'll practice now. Second one is we pass the meditation. Third one is close your eyes. Close your eyes. <coughs> now you observe your own thoughts. It's going here and there. You just observe where it goes. Observe your own thoughts and feelings. Observe your own thoughts and feelings. This is what I asked you earlier. Aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. That is also meditation. Aware of your own thoughts, aware of your own feelings is meditation. The moment you are aware of your thoughts, thoughts stop. You stop thinking actually. These are all different phenomena, but over a period you will be able to conquer your mind by doing all such small things. Okay, open your eyes. Open your eyes. This is called chitta meditation. Chitta means consciousness. Chitta means consciousness. Chitta meditation. Now, if you do any one of the meditations, you will reach alpha level of the mind. That I have no time to explain all those things. You will be totally relaxed. At the time of relaxation, you give command to your subconscious mind. Naturally, you give a command to your subconscious mind what you want to achieve in life. You want to become, it's an obvious phenomenon that you are here in an acting institute. Correct? And all of you have this ambition of becoming a good actress. In, either in the form of a prayer. Prayer means make me a great actress. Or I am becoming a great actress. I always believe more in prayer than we have to make our own statement. When we make our own statement, sometimes it question, uh, all the time you are considering yourself to be useless, and now all of a sudden you are becoming a great actress. On the other hand, if you request God, whether we see the God or not, assume some supreme power is there. Ask that supreme power, make me a great actress. Repeat it again and again and again. That will motivate you to be very active. That will motivate you to be hard working. That will motivate you to all the time <coughs> thinking about this, the ways and means of becoming a great actress or actress. Okay? This, after doing the passive meditation for 20 minutes, you activate your mind. This is called, when you repeat it again and again, this is called active meditation. Active meditation is make me, in the form of a prayer, you get meditation. Make me a great actress. That's all. Now, 
last item I am going to tell you. Uh, then, uh, you, you just will see, uh, at the age of 37, I took to yoga. I am perfectly all right. You know? Then afterwards, in between, I got into problem, some health problem. That is, you uh, have here, on table or something like that. I will keep it on there. <coughs> this, well, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, right. Keep, it. Do keep it. In the meantime, I'll just do explain. Do now listen to me. Clear. At the age of 75, I got into BP, thyroid, followed by depression. I have three diseases. My son, my eldest son, is a doctor. And <laughs> that fellow, MBBS, MD completed in Bangalore, St. John's Medical College. Then MS he did in McMaster University in Toronto, Canada. Canada. And he is a doctor. He insisted me to take medicine throughout my life. I was taking the medicine. I don't like allopathic medicine, monastery speaking. I substituted with the Ayurvedic medicine. With the result, my BP has come down very low. Bit. Then I have to tell him. Then he blasted me. Why did you do like that? Don't do this kind of an experiment. Yeah, you. Uh, okay. Then afterwards, he asked me to stop the medicine. Now I am conducting. Why I am more interested to give you these tips? Health is very, very important. Only when we lose it, we realize the importance of health. That's why 